option for the deep look. Oh, and oh, that oh. was nice pressure. Clean slides that in just barely uh, past Daniel Bates. Nope, that's uh, the windshield player. Uh, past uh, oh, that was Zane Rankin in. again. Uh, who almost comes away with uh, that D there. Defensive line out there a lot. Um, and if you're doing that multiple times in a row, it becomes very hard to be able to play point after point. Oh, Tate like Hallberg with the deep. And there was the play we were expecting from him. Laying it out to Michael Jordan in the end zone for a nice, easy score. Deep shot by Minnesota. It's floating. Make the play. Good layout, but not able to capitalize on the D with a upside down hammer throw for the score. The confusion seems to be cleared, and number 29, Josh Klein, is going to start with the disc. B Vaughn catches it. Uh, layout unsuccessful. That's a score. I am looking for a D. Who's going to get it? Side. Vaughn to Burden. Burden to Klain. Klain back to Vaughn for the score. B. Vaughn from Klain. The interesting throw to Greenberg. Greenberg finds Jordan. Jordan to Klain. Klain with the throw deep to Ladyman. And he is able to make the catch in the back of the end zone. Burden, one of the five Canadians, all from the Winnipeg area. It was Josh Klain that kind of reached out to Cam Burden, broached the idea of those guys coming to play with a wind chill. Cam Burden played in Montreal last year. Klain sees Jordan, sends it over three defenders. Burden. Set up for the assist, and there's Ladyman scoring the goal. Tim DeBile has a few scattered gray hairs already, but maybe a couple more after that offsides call. Of course, Tim has been at the helm of the Radicals since the beginning as Klain uncorks a beauty, and Vanoka is there. Being covered by number 44, Donovan Triplett. And so Klain with one look and he's out, but he does find him in space. And well done by Winchell. They really wanted that point. He was trying to come down with that. And Greenberg able to pull in the disc, looking for Klain deep out into space. Josh Klain attacking that disc, coming up with a huge layout grab. Klain came under, over to Vanuka, and a score for the Winchell. A deep pull finds Klain. He sends it up to Greenberg. They've got a side stack, and going off right off the bat is uh, Vanuka, but... Instead, it's sent up and then out to Klain, who has it again, and he laces a huck up the line, and Jordan is there catching it in stride. Beautiful throw from Klain. Von Allen Gilon, Tim Fergus, Seth Weaver, who's leading yep. the team in defensive points played. This wildfire team has a ton more firepower as well. Seth Weaver in his brother's wedding this weekend as we see Vanoka skying for the upwind score. A quick strike from Minnesota.
Under five minutes left. If the wind chill can stay perfect on offense the rest of the way, they'll win the game. Michael Jordan with the emphatic spike. And so the offense back with the disc, they will get another shot. Um, looking off Brian Vanuka, KPS is camped out in that space. Can Bivon make the best of his? Oh, and a big shot that must have been high in the stall count. Looking to Tate, and he's got the oh, mismatch great there. Grab. Great grab, not in bounds though. So um, Brian Vanuka getting the disc, tossing it high, and Tate Hallberg for the score. Bit of a floaty throw comes in at a weird angle. Porter Miller has to slide for it and can't quite come up with it. Alley Cat's going to be back on defense. Josh Klain immediately puts one up for Brian Vanuka. Vanuka comes down against a bidding Spencer Loscar and flips one into the end zone. Really making a lot of plays on both the offensive and defensive side of the disc. Minnesota receives the disc. Josh Klain gets it in the center of the field and puts it deep to Quinn Snyder immediately. Snyder against Horta Miller. Snyder comes down with the disc in the end zone. Colin Ringwood on the mark. Ringwood jumping to try and stop the hammer looks. Klain finds himself open up line and he puts a hammer over the top. Wide open. Very rarely make a, a bad decision throwing the disc. It leads to you know a, a very explosive offensive attack. And just another excellent huck here from Klain. Josh Klain puts one up and Quinn Snyder comes down with it. Minnesota with the disc on the far sideline. That's Matthew Ladyman. Ladyman to Burden. Burden puts it around to Klain. Klain sprints onto that one and then puts up a forehand huck. Carpenter in chase, bids, but cannot catch Vanutka. All right, for Minnesota, big break opportunity here. Klain with the disc. Puts one up line. Finds Quinn Snyder. Snyder on the far sideline. Puts it to Vanuka. Vanuka floats one to Josh Klain, who scores the goal. You know, that is a foul on the defense. Yeah, I mean, maybe if it's just two players there, who knows what happens. But I think when you had the crowd around him with that, yeah, definitely. Big time huck for Minnesota. Just outside of the goal line, Vanuka hits Ladyman, and that's going to be a quick answer. So, yeah, it'll, it'll be really interesting to see. Uh, when you look at Chicago, obviously a, a big part of that is taking away the deep look. Um, I mean, we saw again in the, the first quarter, if you remember that um, game of the week by Stadium, Quinn Snyder with the big snag. Now that is what we like to see. Not necessarily the most reliable of throwers, but he has a great in-rhythm flick when he gets it in rhythm upfield. And Klain just unleashing deep to a wide open Tate Hallberg. Maybe a little bit of a coverage breakdown there deep. As at the layout from Seth Meyer, but just not quite enough. As Klain quickly now unleashing into space for Burden on the counterattack. And again, that disc is going to soar, but Burden attacking it nicely in the air. Klain now at the disc at the center of the field. Not an uncommon phrase. Quickly up to MJ. MJ to Vanuka, back to Klain. Klain pump faking and launching that flick that he loves out into space, and that's just a beauty to burden. Klain really finding his rhythm. He's assisted on three of the four Minnesota scores to start this second half. 